In these problems, we are trying to determine where a function is continuous. And this idea of continuity means that, uh, let's take for example, y equals x squared. This goes on out to infinity, uh, up and out that way, up and out that way. Everywhere on this graph, there's no jumps, there's no breaks. You can go one point next door and it's in a smooth flowing curve. This is continuous over all values of x. It stretches from negative infinity out to infinity and it's going to be a continuous smooth curve like this. this. That's continuous. When you're dealing with rational functions though, sometimes you get things that look like this, you know, shooting down towards uh, negative infinity, uh, coming uh, from positive infinity, etc., etc. So that point there where the graph shoots off to the top and down to the bottom is a discontinuity. There's, there's not a single smooth connecting curve all throughout the length of this graph. So what we want to do in these problems is find out you know, where these functions are continuous. If we look at this first one, we've got a typical rational function and you know how to find the asymptotes of these you determine where the denominator is equal to zero. In this case, we'd set x plus two equals zero, x plus five equals zero, and we would get x equals negative two and x equals negative five. Those are the vertical asymptotes. Those are places where this graph is gonna be like this and not have continuity. So we would say, if you're gonna determine where it is continuous, you would say all x except x equals negative two, and x equals negative 5. Alright, let's look at this next one, slightly different. We've got the square root function, and you know that the basic square root function looks something like that. Uh, and what this means is that this graph is not continuous over here. There are no negative x values on this graph. So this is going to be the basic function y equals the square root of x is going to be continuous from 0 to infinity. Where is this one going to be continuous? Well, we know we can't have a negative number under that square root sign, so anything bigger than 8, because we've got 8 minus x, is going to um, not be on this graph. So values that are 8 and less, you can see that negative numbers would work just fine in here. If x is a negative 2, we have 8 minus a negative 2, or 10, that would, positive 10, that would work. So we basically want all the numbers from negative infinity up to and including 8. And I've used this interval notation. In a case you need a refresher about that, this, the uh, curved parentheses means that value isn't included. And that's always the case with negative infinity and positive infinity because we can't really say there's an actual value for that. And then the, the uh, right angled bracket here says you uh, include that value. So this includes 8. All right, let's try another one. This one says, where is f of x equals the square root of x minus 10 continuous? In this case, you can go 10 and above, because if you put a 10 in here, you get 10 minus 10 or 0. If you were to put a 9 in here, 9 minus 10, you'd get a negative number. So anything less than 10 is going to give you a negative number under the radical sign, and we can't have that. So uh, it's going to be continuous from 10 on up. So we include 10, and we go up to infinity, and write it like that in interval notation. So that's a little bit of work with uh, determining where functions are continuous. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.